Hey everyone, Justin here from the Bill Corps Wellness Center coming at you with another workout of the day. For today's workout of the day, we're doing a total body strength and conditioning workout that is going to consist of three different blocks. The first block is going to be just a singular exercise that is going to be done for time. The second one is going to be straight sets, three different exercises for four sets, resting about 30 to 60 seconds in between each exercise and each set. And then the final block is going to be a conditioning finisher, which is going to be an AMRAP, which stands for as many reps, or as, in this case, as many rounds as possible. You'll have 12 minutes to get as many rounds of three different uh, tasks done um, to finish the workout. So let's go ahead and go over each block, and then I'll let you get to it. The first strength block is just one singular exercise. It is a combo exercise, so if you really want to be specific, it is actually two exercises that are put together. Um, I want you to have a wall, a column, a pole, something near you for assistance or even a chair. We are going to start with our weak leg first, and we are doing a single leg RDL with a four second lower. So as I, have, as I soften my knee and, drop my, and push my hips back, I want to make sure I'm keeping my hip and my shoulder square. So I'm going to go down, I'm going to go back four seconds. Once I get as far as I can and I feel that stretch in the hamstrings, I'm going to perform a shrimp squat. So I'm going to lower my, my knee, my floating knee and my floating leg to the floor, going as deep as I can, and then drive through the middle of my foot closer to my heel to stand myself back up. Let me give you it on the other leg so that you can see what I'm doing. I'm floating this leg behind me. I'm going to soften the knee, drive the hips back while keeping the chest up, feeling that stretch in the hamstring. So that's the single leg RDL part. And then my shrimp squat is gonna be dropping this knee to the floor if I can get it there, I've been driving through the middle of my foot to get myself back up. You're gonna have two minutes to complete five reps on one leg, five reps on the other. Whatever time you have left over in that two minute uh, window is gonna be your rest before you repeat it again. We're shooting for a total of four sets, which should take you eight minutes since we're doing two minutes for each set to complete five on each side. So again, soft knee, drive the hips back, feel that stretch in the hamstrings. Start <clears throat> bending at the hip and knee at the same time. Don't let the knee collapse in. If I need to, use whatever you've got as assistance to help you back up, but try to make sure your leg is doing most of the work. Secondly, if I wanted even more assistance, I can use the wall or the pole to help me up, but I can also put this foot, this back foot on the floor and use it just a bit to push up um, to allow myself to gain a little bit of momentum uh, to help that leg get me back up to standing. Once you finish those single leg RDL to shrimp squats, five on each side for a total of four sets, um, taking two minutes for each, you're gonna move on to the second block, so strength block two, where you're gonna be completing four sets again. Um, the first exercise is gonna be body weight only, lateral lunge to curtsy. So I'm gonna take a step, toe is pointed forwards, soften the knee, drive the hips back, keep the chest up, come up, try to sweep it right behind me for a curtsy, and then I'm gonna step right back into it. Lateral lunge, curtsy, lateral lunge, curtsy. <clears throat> I'm shooting for 10 of those, and of course I'll do both sides. We're not going for time here, so go at your own pace. Once you've got your 10, then you're gonna move to the second exercise in this block, which is gonna be a push-up variation. It's gonna be an under the fence push-up. We're doing five of these because they're pretty difficult. So 
So what you're going to do is you're going to start in a down dog position and drive the floor away from you through your hands. I want to imagine there's a fence right here and I'm trying to get under it. So I'm going to bring my chest really close to the floor, press up into kind of like a cobra. And then I've got to come back the same way I came. So again, I'm going to press chest and head come close to the floor, get me back to the start. So that's one. If you needed to make this a little easier, you can bend the knees or even come down on the knees. It doesn't quite look the same, but it's still working the same muscles from here. So again, if I'm going from the knees, I would start here, butts bent a little bit, up, coming down, pressing through, then pressing back out of it. So that's how it would look for uh, both a higher impact version and lower impact. Then your third and final move of this second strength block is going to be a reverse snow angel. So we're going to go under our stomach. Arms are going to be out. Hips are extended. I am bringing my arms down as I bring my legs out. That's one. Come back to the start. Two. Make sure that as you're going through these and you're shooting for 15 of them, that you're not looking up because that's going to crank your neck, possibly give you a cramp. So I want you to look down towards the floor as you're doing these reverse snow angels. Go nice and slow with them. Don't rush through them. Hold this position down here for a second or two before you come back to the start. Once you finish 15 of those reverse snow angels, that will be one set. You're going to rest 30 to 60 seconds before you run back through it, aiming to complete four total sets of that. Then, once you finish that, you're moving on to the last segment of the workout, which is a conditioner finisher. So for the conditioner finisher, I want you pushing yourself to a hard but sustainable pace. So you should be breathing pretty heavy. If you were to talk to someone, you could maybe get a sentence out. No more than that though. Otherwise, it, you're working at an intensity that's too easy. And then you've got three different tasks here as well. So you're gonna set a timer for 12 minutes. So it's a 12 minute AMRAP, as many rounds of these three exercises as you can. The first one is gonna be all cardio. You're gonna be doing a two minute jog or run. So take advantage of the warmer weather that we've got today if you're here in Colorado or if you're somewhere else where it's cold, throw on a layer, get outside, hopefully get some fresh air and some sun. I want you running or jogging, whatever's gonna keep you at that hard but sustainable pace for two minutes. If you prefer to stay inside, use what space you have and do shuttle runs where you're, where you're running, tapping, running, tapping at a hard, hard but sustainable pace for two minutes. Then your second task is gonna be Grabbing some sort of weight implement, you can use a dumbbell, kettlebell, or a weighted backpack. <clears throat> I've showed you uh, many different variations uh, for exercises with all those implements, but <clears throat> for today, we're going to be shooting for 20 kettlebell swings, or dumbbell swings, or backpack swings. So for those, I'll show you with the backpack because that's probably what most people have available to them. Uh, make sure it's got a handle on it. Make sure it's not too wide. I got a duffel bag here. I'm going to spin it so that it's long ways. Uh, then <laughs> soft knees. Remember, I'm going to push my hips back. So it's kind of like a deadlift. Thrust them forward. I'm going to stay standing as long as I can. It's all in the hips. Okay, The arms are not doing any lifting. It's my arms are hooks. My hips as the whatever it is, the dumbbell, kettlebell, backpack, come close to my hips. I'm going to dip away, I'm going to thread my arms between my legs, and then I'm going to drive through my heels, stand up straight, squeeze the glutes. However fast my hips come forward is how high that weight implement is going to come. Okay? If it's going above your head, it's too light, try to add some more weight to it. Let me show you how you would do this with a dumbbell. If you've got a dumbbell, you're going to hold it on either side of the actual bell portion of it. 
in between the handles and same thing. Inhale on the way down, exhale as you push back up. And then of course, with the kettlebell, which is the uh, typical implement that you're gonna see these done with, you're starting with it in front of you, and then I'm thrusting behind, driving through my heels to power that belt up. So that's your second task, it's 20 swings. I did the third and final task for this 12 minute AMRAP conditioning finisher is gonna be a front plank hip dip. We're doing 10 on each side. So you're coming down, low plank position from the elbows, glutes are squeezed, core is tight. I'm gonna rotate, try to dip my hip down, tap the floor, take my time here, reset in the middle, uh, 10 on each side. And then that is it for the three tasks that you're gonna be doing for the conditioning finisher. So remember, you're setting that timer for 12 minutes, you're running through that sequence of two minute jog run or shuttle run, uh, your swings with whatever implement you choose, and then your front plank hip dips, 10 on each side. 20 swings, 10 front plank hip dips. So that is the workout for today. Hopefully you all enjoy it. Uh, let me know how it goes and I'll catch you next time.